How you doing everybody? This is just a little tip slash kind of guide on if anyone was curious on how to wire up their original seat belt buzzer, key buzzer for their 1970 to 81 F-Body Camaro, Firebird, Trans Am, what have you. A lot of these cars people dismantle or take apart the key buzzer because they find it annoying, which it is, but if you're like me and wanting to go back to stock in a restoration you kind of want it to work so this what I have done here I've taken apart the original buzzer then this is what would come in your car for the seat belt it's just this four prong buzzer in these cars well I guess we'll start a little bit of history these cars had two separate buzzers one for the seat belt and one for the key and you had two harnesses which this one right here would have been for your key which is just a two prong you got a battery hot and then actual key so when you put your key on it completes the circuit and turns the buzzer on when you stick your key in the ignition the second harness which is right here this white connector you've got four wires you've got a pink pink white and two blacks the first pink wire is your lead from your ignition and that's what's giving your signal to the buzzer to engage when you turn the key on, turn the little fasten belt light on on your dash. This pink white wire is what's going to turn the light on on your dash, the fasten belt light. This first black wire is your chassis ground. And the last black wire is your uh, seatbelt ground. So when you have the seatbelt unplugged, it is a continuous circuit, which is basically just grounding those two wires together, these two blacks. And that's what's going to cause your buzzer to chime or buzz or what have you. And when you plug your seatbelt in, it breaks that ground, and your light will still come on on your dash, but um, it will not buzz. So what I have, this, this I actually took this buzzer out of my 91 Chevy Suburban and these will work with any 88 to 98 Chevy GMC pickup Suburban uh, vans uh, any passenger cars they're pretty much all the same throughout the late 80s early 90s and they work in these cars with just a little bit of modifying so what I've done is taken the original connector for the original buzzer for this car and now what I'm working on is a 79 Trans Am and this car originally they had it taken apart where they took the original key buzzer out and the seatbelt buzzer was broken so we're toss that we're done with that so you plug your connector into the buzzer you've got the four ports for the seatbelt and then you've got three here which this would have been for your headlights when you leave your headlights on it'll buzz with the key off this is your battery constant and then this is for the key in and so what you'll do with the key in to get this all to work you just plug in your clear connector plug in your key in switch up to the original harness from the factory and to the pink and black wire which is your ignition side and you take the red or the orange wire and that's going to be your battery positive for the buzzer and as you see plug my key in and it'll chime turn the key on And it'll run its cycle four to eight seconds or what have you. And just like that, if anyone was curious to know, there you go. Yeah, guys, have a good one.